We are live. I'm gonna wait for a couple of you guys to come in. If you're catching the replay, hello, my name is Ashley. Thanks for tuning in with me. A couple people are joining in. Can everybody hear me? I have my AirPods in, so I wanna make sure you can hear me. Okay, well, if you can hear me, maybe hit up some hearts or something. Is it working? Hi. Oh, good. We're gonna we're gonna take that thumbs up there as a yes. You can hear me. <laughs> okay. So today's live, I'm going to be talking about two things. First, my crafty beanie swap that started today, and second, um, the De Rose or De Rose masterclass that is the like most amazing tool for handmade business owners such as us. Um, if you have any questions throughout the live, feel free to just ask them and I'll try to answer them as I go. Um, if not, I'll try to get them at the end. Sometimes it's just easier for me to feed off of you guys than just trying to, you know, come out of my own head. So <laughs> let's get started. Um, so I took, I took a little notes for the beanie swap. I just thought we'd do that one first. So in case you didn't know what the beanie swap is, I have organized a maker beanie swap through my blog, that's where all the information is, where if everybody who joins will both send and receive a handmade beanie from another maker. So it can be crocheted or knitted, or if you do any other type of beanie things. Um, I know crochet and knitting. A handmade is the main point. So you and you can use any design, any anybody's patterns. It doesn't have to be something that you've designed yourself. A few people uh, messaged me asking if it had to be an original design. No, it does not. You're more than welcome to use any of my designs if you'd like. Um, and then it's just going to be something that's really fun, a fun way for us to get to see each other's work, get to meet new friends. I know that I met a friend, Lindsay, from the gift swap that I did through 3AM Grace Designs back in let's see December, I think, either November or December. It was like a holiday uh, gift swap thing. And so that was really fun. And now every time I see my buffalo plaid pillows, I think of Lindsay. And I'm like, oh, she's a maker in our community, and she made these. And it's just, it's cool. It's a nice way to get to meet new people. And I just love having handmade things. And to know that these things that I have is somebody that I talk to on a regular basis from Instagram. And now I have something that they had in their hands, in my hands. I just think that's an excellent feeling. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I did have to set an entry fee that way um, to try to keep people from kind of flaking out. Because I know that life happens and things that you didn't expect come up. So I'm hoping that the $5 will um, appeal to just people who are truly interested in doing the beanie swap with us, and they're not just um, saying they're interested and then they end up not sending a beanie, which wouldn't be fair to their partners. The $5 will go to any angel beanies that I need to send out. So if somebody does have to back out after they've already um, applied or whatever, I'll send a beanie in their place. If they can't send their beanies, That's what the $5 will cover that and then all the money left over will be donated to my church's adoption fund so even if you're not like into church which is totally fine this money isn't going towards the church it's going towards helping families um, adopt children and babies which who doesn't want to help support that um i think it's going to be fun i did have one person set, bring this up i'd like to just say that the the crafty beanie swap is going to be a no judgment zone um, all skill levels are welcome. If you feel like you don't crochet or knit well enough and so you don't want to join, please don't feel that way. Um, this is all just a loving, fun swap. No pressure. It's just for fun. It's just to meet new people and to, to have handmade things in your house that you know somebody put a lot of time and energy into. So um, don't feel like you are not talented enough because you are and your beanie will be loved and cherished no matter what because that's just what we do as makers we know um we know how much love goes into handmade things and how much time and energy goes into learning how to make the things and we know that so no pressure no judgment just happiness that's what this swap is about um also i would like to just throw out there that if you purchase the fee already 
you would have seen some downloadable files that come with that, with that $5 purchase. You will get a file picture that's formatted for Instagram, a picture that's formatted for Instagram stories, and a PDF printable. And if you post the picture on your Instagram feed and use the hashtag Crafty Beanie Swap, you'll be entered in to win some free patterns from my shop. And if you print out the printable, there is a wrap label, a thank you card, and an information card um, for those who might not have business cards who want to share their information with their swap partner. But that's just something that I wanted to include. Um, if you need help printing, I have a blog post about how to print at Office Depot, and I will make sure to link that at the end of this live so you guys can check that out too. It's only 25 cents a page at Office Depot using this code that I have. Um, that, and that's on cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, so it's pretty good quality. Okay, so unless there's any questions we have about the beanie swap, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the master class because I don't see any questions. Um, if you do have any, just pop them up there and I'll try to answer them probably at the end um, since we're going to jump into master class things now. Um, so we are getting ready to start a brand new year. 2019. 2018 was awesome. I'm, I got to meet so many new people through Instagram and I just started selling patterns in 2018, I believe. It might have been 2017. But I think it was only like about a year. Um, so that just changed everything for me and my business did a complete like turnaround and I'm very excited to see what 2019 is going to hold. I've got some big goals and some big like plans that for a crafty concept, both personally and professionally. And if you are a business owner or a hobbyist who would like to start selling your things, the De Rose, De Rose, mm, that masterclass, that is that is for you. Like all handmade things, not just knitwear. She talks specifically about knitwear, which is awesome because there's not very many resources out there like that. Like I know there's resources that are like, hey, here's how to sell on Etsy, but if they're selling jewelry or woodwork or something like that, all that stuff is going to be completely different than if you're selling knitwear items or like stuffies, just knitted crochet type things. It doesn't have to be um, actual wearables. It can just be like crochet things, knitted things in general. But she talks specifically on those things. So she'll talk about shipping those things specifically. She'll talk about uh, writing your Etsy listings for those things specifically, marketing them, photographing them. She talks about all of that. I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just start off by saying the very first reason why I think this class is for for everybody who is has a handmade business is Teresa, the she's the, the maker behind De Brose brand. She is the most positive and encouraging human being on the planet. Like, I've seen other people who are leaders in our community or leaders in other handmade communities and they talk and they give tips and stuff but it's not it's kind of like a glass empty glass half empty um, perspective instead of a glass half full and it it almost gives like a negative undertone that Dave Rose she that there's none of that there you re will read this thing feeling like encouraged and positive and happy about what you do happy about what you make and like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and you know that this is a good step for you to take she just like pumps you up she talks about everything that she talks about she does from a loving caring kind positive viewpoint and I think that's really important like if you have somebody telling you and if you especially when you're spending your money if you have somebody telling you hey um, I can't believe you only charge $10 for this thing. I charge $50 for it, and you are putting everybody in the whole community down by charging $10. That's that's not positive. That's not encouraging. That's just going to put you down, uh, make you feel like you're not doing a good job, make you feel like you've ruined everybody else's businesses because your, your thing is only $10. Day Rose is not at all bad. <laughs> she will make you feel encouraged and inspired and happy. It's just... It's important. Sometimes you don't realize the types of things that you're reading, how much they affect you, like just on a regular basis, like day-to-day -day thing. If you're constantly reading people who have a more negative outlook on life, then that's how you're going to start seeing. So you need to surround yourself by positivity and happiness, and that's going to show through in your businesses as well once you start 
going through this course. Um, I will jump in first thing to tell you that it is $350 and I realize that is a pricey price tag and it sounds really high especially if you've never invested in your business before or just in yourself personally. Um, so yeah that $350 but if you use my link um, I have an affiliate link and a coupon called code to give you guys $25 off and that is crafty25 and the links and the coupon code are both listed in my blog post that I did on the class already but I will also post them again in my stories after this thing goes live or after this live goes to replay I don't know um so I talked about how Teresa does everything from a positive perspective and how important that can be for your business let's talk about the course start jumping into the course um, the first thing she talks about she's got four main sections as of right now and I say as of right now because she's always adding more more information to this thing this is like a forever well not for, until she decides not to do it anymore but it's gonna last a while and she's gonna be updating this thing answering questions whenever like if she gets asked the same question over and over again you can bet she's probably gonna put it in the class for everybody to see and not only is she going to answer those questions she's going to include multiple resources for us to use that also answer that question like it's unbelievable how much detail is in this class um she talks about let's see i've got it pulled up right here so i can look at it okay so she breaks everything down in like regular people talk it is not business management or business professional lady talk it is just regular sitting in a coffee shop drinking a glass of coffee a glass of coffee a glass of tea cup of coffee can i help you you want to say hi say hi 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 okay go, go find your daddy over here that was ava my daughter you guys probably know her if you follow me for any time at all um, so I was saying that she breaks it down step by step, like, I mean, like part A and then all these bullet points that go with that and then part B and then all these bullet points, screenshots if she's telling you how to do something, telling, showing you exactly where to click, exactly what to do for everything that she goes over. If she's going over listings, step by step screenshots, exactly what to do. If she's going over photography, same thing. Going over buying wholesale, same thing. Like everything is so, so detailed that it's just unbelievable. Um, that I can't imagine how much time she put into this thing. It's probably taken her months. Um, but it's very awesome for people like us because I feel like she knows how our brains work for the most part because as creative people, our brains work a little differently than like, I don't know, like um, like my husband's an engineer and his brain is completely different than my brain as a mathy person versus a creative person. Um, you guys hear that? Ava's screaming, I'm done. I'm done because she used the potty. Gabe will hear it eventually. <laughs> and then he'll go wipe her. My goodness. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what I said last. Can you hear that? Can anybody hear that? She's screaming it. Where is my husband? He knows I'm live. Okay. So the, the four steps that she has it broken into, the first one is preparing. And in that one, she talks about setting goals for your business. <laughs> you guys can hear her. That's good. Uh, setting goals for your business, knowing which platforms are best for you and gives you valuable information on sourcing your materials. So setting your goals she like sets it up monthly like as a maker each month here's some good things to think about january february march april like so in depth and then she talks about okay so for if you're setting your goals you want to do this and then and then you want to go in a little bit deeper and do this and then you want to go in really deep and hone in on like your specific goals here and she tells you she tells you the resources that she uses the plan she links the exact planner that she uses tells you why she likes that planner how it's helpful how she uses it um, different apps that she uses to try to stay organized with um, planning and goal goal making um, it's so so detailed every aspect she talks about the platforms and then in that section please excuse me <laughs> 
in the platform section, she talks about Etsy versus your own e-commerce site. She gives a lot of pros and cons, a lot of links, a lot of um, things to think about for your business specifically. She'll say, okay, so if your business is this and this and this, then you're probably going to want to lead towards Etsy. If your business is this and this and this, then you're going to want to lead towards your own account like Shopify or something. I'm going to text my husband. Nicely, I promise. Okay, I said get Ava. Okay, okay. So I'll wait until she's done. And now. And then she talks about sourcing your materials. You guys, everybody is so secretive about where they get their, like, where they source their materials or their um, connections that they have. And I get that. Like, as a business owner, that's just part of it. But she tells you where she wholesales, how much wholesale that she gets, and she gives you the email addresses of who you need to contact. Like, who does that? That is insane to me. She tells you, I mean, and it's not just like one option. You have like five options for all these different ways to um, start getting your like yarn or crochet hooks or whatever you make and sell at a, at a wholesale price. And she shows you how to do that. It's definitely good if you are ever thinking about doing kits or if you do market prep and you're making scarves and you're using the same yarn and you need to make 300 scarves with this yarn, you can buy it in wholesale and buy it in bulk and get it all at once instead of going a million trips to Hobby Lobby with the 40% off coupon. And the next section, I don't know where Gabe even is. Like she's still hollering that she's done. I don't know where he is. I texted him, so if he's doing something, he has his phone, so he will be up here in just a second to get her. I, he knows I'm going, he knows I went live. I told him, I told him that I was going live. The next section is, she's got, it's called building, and this is where she talks about building your business and the nitty gritty bits, like pricing. Everybody always has questions about pricing, so she'll talk about pricing your products, like unique to you. Even though she may has never talked to you before, her, she has a pricing structure structure that is unique to each person that's reading it, and it has nothing to do with other people in the community, what they're selling their things for. It, it has to do with you, your business, your talent, and your cost of materials and things like that. Like, it's very customizable to each person, which I think is really awesome, because there, there is no overall, like secret formula that just fits everybody like a one size fits all that doesn't exist and so she does a really good job at showing you how to do it for your business and she includes her pricing calculator which is amazing because all you do is you type in the things that you want like cost me this much to make yarn uh this many hours and i'd like to get paid this much per hour Boop. and then she's like oh wait you should charge you should charge this much per piece and that's you're gonna reach all those goals like it's a no-brainer. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> um, the next thing she talks about in the building section is how to set up your listings. She talks about your description, your product description, and this can go for Etsy and um, your own e-commerce site. But she talks about the things you should include, like a checklist. I love checklists. I do. I make my own checklist. Like I do really well if I know I can. I can like. Okay, yes, I did that. I did that. I did that. Okay, post. I'm good at that. So she includes this checklist to help you think of all the things you need to make sure you're talking about in your listing and then um, how to title them. She goes into detail for that and how to set up, how to create and execute your own unique brand with her um, photography tips. Like, no, people are so secretive about the certain filters that they're using, where they got them, um, how much they adjust them, which parts of the filter they adjust, like shadows, brightness, contrast, things like that. She tells you exactly what she does, exactly which filters that she uses. She gives you step by step on how to get the exact look that she has. And then, and then that's a really good way to learn. Like even if you don't want the exact look that she has, which it is beautiful and it works. So if it matches your brand, just, just do what she does because it looks fantastic. Um, but even if you didn't want exactly what she has, you can still learn so, so much about how to apply it to your look. It's unbelievable. The, it, the detail that she goes into for the photography tips alone is almost 
worth the entire, and she does not own a big camera. She does all of it on her iPhone. Like, Dave Rose uses her iPhone to take her pictures for her Instagram, for her listings, for her website, like an iPhone. Very detailed, very helpful. Um, some of the resources she mentions are paid versions, so she talks about she uses Photoshop, um, but she does give you a free option as well. She's like, or if you don't want to pay for Photoshop right now, you can use this one, and it's very similar. She does that a lot. Anytime that she talks about something that's a paid version, she tries to give you a free version option as well. Um, the next section she has is called Executing. In this section, she talks about shipping, step-by-step -step instructions, links to the exact items that she uses to ship her knitwear or, like, stuffy things. She talks about how she organizes her shipping supplies. And you guys, just watching her organize her shipping supplies makes me just feel, like, clean. I don't know. She's, like, uber organized. And that's how she lives. That's not just her business. Like, that is her life. And it's amazing. And she shows us how she does it, links to products that she uses, why she likes these products, products that have worked well for her. And I think that is very valuable in itself because there's no telling how much money we waste on products that we think might work and we get them in the mail and they're crap and it costs just as much money to return them than it is to just deal with your crap product. Like, I love to buy things that I know have been recommended to me from people that I trust or that I know has good taste, things like that. So um, she gives you the exact things that she uses for her business. Um, and she also talks about customer service in this, in this section. That is very important for small businesses. All businesses, but definitely small businesses. And I would say definitely even more than that, handmade businesses. Like our stuff is a little bit higher price than the boutique options like the Messy Bun Beanies. Because we make them by hand, we learn the skill, we buy the supplies, things like that. Customer service needs to be one of your priorities when you're running your business. And she does a really good job at showing you some good examples of customer service. She has put in screenshots from her her um, like inbox where she has had conversation with customers before. Actual screenshots to show you what she said, what they said, how she responded. It's amazing. I feel like I should read that that little conversation every single day just to get my mind in the right like in the right state of mind where I know I need to be like positive. My sister is calling me in the middle of my live. Sorry, my sister called me in the middle of my live. Lord have mercy. I hope she doesn't do that again. She might. I don't even. What was I saying? <laughs> anyway, um. Oh, customer service. Yes. Um, I think if I read that every day, like when I came up to my room or every evening when I was getting ready to answer emails, just read her little conversation that she had with a customer so I know like, okay, this is how it's done. Get in that state of mind because you don't want to answer your emails if you've had a bad day or if you've not had your coffee or if you're hungry or hangry in my case. Like, be in a good open, encouraging, happy, as best you can state of mind when you answer your customer emails. And I feel like reading her customer emails would be a good step to getting in that right frame of mind. It's just, it's unbelievable. Like, it makes me want to go buy things from her, like handmade things or more of her classes, just because I know she's going to take care of me from a customer service aspect. If I had any issues, she will be there to help me out. Um, and I know that based on what I see with my eyes when I read this thing. Like, it's amazing. Um, she also includes a, a informative question and answer thing with other people in the community. Um, I know the hook nook is in there, chalk, chalk of love or chalk full of love, chalk full of love. Um, she's in there. There's a couple more people that you'll probably recognize. And it's really nice because you get to, my lip is sticking to my teeth. You get to hear how other people that do exactly what you do are doing things. I feel like that's just invaluable because other all the other resources are handmade. There's a big blanket of these are just how handmade people do things. So people who make jewelry or woodworking, that's not always be applicable. But when you make crocheted or knitted things, we all do. It's, it's a whole lot easier to apply it to what you're doing specifically. I just, I really like that it's 
set up for people like us. Um, are we still in executing? Yes. Organization, customer service. And then um, she talks about how to deal with copying. Okay, so if somebody copies your pattern and makes it their own pattern, tries to sell it as their own pattern, she talks about that in this class. And I want to go ahead and say right now too, whether you sell patterns or finished pieces, this is going to help you out. Like she does a very good job at giving you examples for both on everything. Like this is how I ship. Well, if you do digital, you don't have to ship. Well, if you sell finished items, this is how you ship. This is how you make your listings. If you do digital, you do it this way. If you do finished items, you do it this way. So she gives you both examples. Oh my God. <laughs> I talk with my hands. Oh goodness. She does that throughout the entire course. It's very and I, that gave me a good sense of peace because I I sell finished items and I sell my patterns. Um, long term, I'd like to be just like my, my only audience will be other makers and not necessarily people who buy handmade things. That's a long term goal for me. Um, I will sell messy bun beanies for as long as they're cool. I enjoy making them. It's fun for me. I that's what I'm gonna do. But as soon as messy bun beanies aren't cool anymore, I'll probably just do stuff like my blog, my patterns, uh, the the beanie swap, things like that. Um, that's my long term goal. And then she touches on um, taxes at the bottom. She talks about how she organizes her finances. She gives you links to the things that she uses. Um, and then like write-offs and things like that, which is very complicated in its own. And she does a good job at talking about that for you guys. Um, the last section she goes over is the growing section, which who doesn't want to grow their businesses? Um, she talks about how like if you if you do just sell handmade things, how to jump into selling patterns eventually. Or if you just sell crochet patterns, how to jump into selling knitting patterns eventually. Things like that. Um, she gives you advice on what to look for. Like she'll say, okay, so if you notice this and this and this when you're on Instagram or when you're looking at your stats through Etsy, if you notice these three things, then maybe this is the direction you should be going. And if like that might be something that you never even looked into and then and then all of a sudden your business just completely changes and explodes kind of like when I started selling patterns and I wasn't at first and then I started selling them and then my whole life changed not just like financially but more of like spiritually or emotionally when I started selling patterns I, I have a huge post that I want to write about how much it's helped me emotionally um but I'll get to that eventually I have a really hard time articulating what I'm trying to say, so that's why I haven't written it yet. But it will it will be coming one day. She talks about oh she talks about like Instagram, how you should what you should be looking for on Instagram, what she does to be so successful. She has done I think it's like five years for this business, so she has done a lot of trial and error, and she she is so organized that she will say okay I'm gonna post things like this. I'm gonna watch how how they do like on engagements and comments and likes and things like that and then I'm going to post things like this and see how they do and then see which one worked out better and why and how much better and what did I do differently and she explains all of that so you can say oh well her flat lays did not as good as her with the model picture things like that like you will notice and then you might think okay well I do a lot of flat lays maybe I need to try adding some more um, models in my pictures maybe that will give me some more engagement more following things like that um, she gives you all these examples and makes it so applicable to where you can think about your business in that manner. It's, it's amazing how easy she explains things. Um, she also talks about planning, and I, I mentioned that at the beginning where she talks about um, like different months as a knit, knitter or a crocheter. These are the, the things that are usually happening in our community around different month times gives you like crazy things to think about because if that's not the way your brain works you would never think that way like I think oh it's October I'm gonna make pumpkins <laughs> like I don't think August September mm, October's coming I should probably make pumpkins and I need to do better at that and she does a really good job at giving you it and like a you could print it out if you wanted to and make your own little personal notes on the different months and how she sets it up and how our in like our um, industry just kind of works for those months. 
And then the last section she includes, and I don't know if this was like a new section or if this was in there since I bought it from the beginning, I don't remember, but she includes a section on markets and how to rock your markets. She includes links to all these different like products that she uses to set up her market. She includes free resources like business card templates and information card printouts that you can use for your market. She Literally, she gives you a free, well not free, included, included in the 350. Um, a resource or a like template that you can use for your business. And, and then if you use all of her templates, you're going to be on brand because everything's going to match. And you have all these clean, crisp, beautiful templates for all different aspects of a handmade business at your fingertips. And they're customizable. So if you knit or if you crochet, if you do um, reserved listings, if you do made-to-order things, she's got these templates for you. She's got templates for um, like color charts for your yarn, like your brand of yarn. So I have a color chart on my blog that's, I love this yarn because that's what I use, but she gives you a template where you can put in your own yarn brand and colors. That's included in these things. And she sh she also shows you like how she uses them, when she uses them. It's very, very user-friendly, very easy to understand. I can't believe how much detail she goes into about her trial and error process all the things that she's done differently and why and how much of a difference it's made that that really get you thinking because sometimes you might not think you might think I'm just doing a bun bunch of flat lays and I'm not growing and I don't know why this will help you start thinking out of the box a little bit um, I think this class is perfect for anybody who has a handmade business but I think people who buy it at the beginning of their business journey will have a really good step up like, if you are just starting out, this is going to help you tremendously because you are going to start out in the right direction and not have to backtrack a lot. Like, I have had to to think, oh my gosh, I should have, I've done this way wrong. I should have done this differently. And then at the same time, I found some things where I'm like, that's exactly what I think. And then it just gives me that, that like, affirmation that I need to know that I'm headed in the right direction. It's a really, really good resource. The $350 price tag I know is a high is a high sounding number. I am a huge believer in investing in yourself financially to grow your businesses. In 2018, one of my resolutions was to invest in myself and I went to the craft conference back in February and that cost me a couple hundred bucks, I think, because it was like a hotel thing. And then I did, I bought my Dymo printer, which I think I did that in 2017 actually, which I think I paid like $200 for mine and I'm pretty sure they're like 180 now on Amazon. Um, game changer, especially when my shop went viral, y'all. If I didn't, I was printing out my shipping labels on computer paper, cutting them apart, and then using shipping tape to tape it to my poly mailers. Like, that's what I was doing until I got this Dymo, and it, they print out, like, really fast. I never need to change the ink because it's a laser printer, and I can just stick them to my label, and they're secure, and they're not going to come off. They're not going to get ripped off. Like, they are on there. And that's an investment that I made in myself, and I've never looked back. Like, I will never not have a label printer because um, it just works so well. I feel like every time I take a chance on myself, I'm pleasantly surprised. And I think it's important um, if you're trying to make a business or a career out of this, there's lots of things you can do to save money. And I'm going to do a blog post on that. I'm going to do, it's going to be like how to look professional on a budget. And I've got all these free resources that you guys can use. Um, if you're just selling through Facebook or something like that, and I'm going to make that post, I just got to think of more resources because I don't want it to be just like two things. But so there are areas where you can like save money. And then there are areas and times when you need to invest in yourself. And sometimes we put so much like this that if we take the, take the leap of faith and invest in your business and in yourself financially, then you know that you're like all in and you're giving it. You know, you're not like kind of trying to run a business like, you know, you are trying to run this business and this is you're trying to grow and you're trying to better yourself. And I, I think it's important as even if you don't like want to get this class, a dymo, um, getting lights for your um, pictures, getting a backdrop, something as simple as a backdrop that's investing in yourself. And that is going to help your business grow every time. I feel like every time I do, I have done it, I've benefited tremendously from 
investing. And I know that sometimes, like, if you're anything like me, you think, well, I play with yarn all day, and I'm upstairs in my room, and my husband is taking care of Ava, and, and then you feel, like, a little guilty, but that's not the case. Your sanity is so important, and that will go in the blog post that I end up posting about, like, my emotional state, and the main aspect will be, like, being a new stay-at-home mom, trying to transition from being just a married couple to being parents, and then starting to sell patterns, how much it changed my whole life from a spiritual and emotional standpoint. Like, it's, it's just, it's a special thing that we do as makers. It's special that when our hearts are in something like this, like my business is where my heart is. And it's important to, to know that what you're doing is worth it. Like it's, it's important to know that, yeah, I'm not with Ava right now, but Gabe is with her. And it's important for her to spend time with him too. And, and I'm up here doing what I love because it makes me happy. And I think investing in yourself financially because it's, you're doing something that you do that makes you happy is, is, a, is an important thing. And I think it's absolutely worth it. Oh, I'm so glad. Some people are saying that they are just feel like I'm speaking directly to them. I um I did I have posted my Dave Rose masterclass review already. It is on the blog, um, and you guys are welcome to reread that. I, it's just kind of basically what I've been talking about here, um, but in words. Sometimes it's easier to understand things if you read them yourself. I'm gonna scroll through and see if there's anything that I need. Someone bought a backdrop using the link I posted. That's awesome. Did you wait until you made a certain amount to invest a portion of that? I didn't, but you could. You could easily say, okay, I'm going to put 20% of my sales back until I get the $325 that it costs to buy this class. You could do that. Um, you could say, I have pulled from my savings before. Um, whenever Hobby Lobby went 30% off on their yarn, I bought 50 skeins of linen at with 30% off from the $3.99 price instead of the $4.99 price. And that's a big number and that was at the beginning of the season where all I had was basically a little bit of savings left over from last beanie season and it dropped my savings down pretty like significantly but I knew it would help me out in the long run so that's something that I did and I just used my last one yesterday I had to go buy more linen today but um, I got it all at a really good price based on what I have to pay for it now which is 30% off $4.99 or 40% off just one which who has time for that I need to take like a school bus of cheerleaders with me and we can all go buy yarn for 40% off. Um, so no, I didn't wait. I, whenever, I, whenever I need to invest in myself, I dip into my savings if I need to. Or Gabe, I try not to, okay, so Gabe and I, we have our money together, right? We're married. Our money is together. He's an engineer. I'm a stay-at-home mom slash picker. So our, what we contribute is different. Um, but if I ever need... Gabe's help, he's he's there. Like, and then I can like pay him back, even though it's all the same money. I try to do business things with just the money that I've made from my business, but sometimes Gabe will help me out if I need to. Like when um all the yarn went on clearance and I bought all of it, that might be something that I would have needed Gabe to help me out with until I could pay him back or whatever. Um, I know that sounds silly. We 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 have our finances together. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. Balling on a budget over here. Yes, and it's a good post. I'm going to talk about um, getting a, a domain for your business and then what to do if like, you don't have a website or blog. I've got a free option here that will still help you look super professional. That's my goal is to help you look professional on a budget because that's what we want. We don't want to look like some lady at home just kind of winging it. You want to look like... Like, you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> so people will buy things from you. Um, will I ever have my own class? So that's not in, like, that's not my goal. That's not something that I have looking forward is to have my own classes. My goal for my business is to get paid from sponsored stuff. So like other yarn companies or hook companies to get paid through ads on my blog, like Google ads, and to get paid through affiliate marketing, just linking things that I love and then you guys buying. That's my goal. I would like to be a free resource for you guys. I want everything that 
I just, I like sharing information. When I find something new, I like sharing that with you guys. And I would like to get paid by big old companies instead of moms like me. So the, my goal for my business is to make my blog so like awesome and informative and fun that I had, I get all this unbelievable traffic and I have all these ads and I get paid that way. That's my goal. And then like YouTube and then ads and stuff. And I know it's like not fun to have to see all the ads, but that, but it's free. It's free information and free patterns. Like that's my goal for my business long term. All of my patterns will eventually be free, but that could be like three years down the road. I don't know. So just stick with me because we will get there eventually. So no, I don't plan on having classes. Um, that could change. I'm always open to change. When it comes to my business, I just kind of go with the flow. And if I feel like it needs to make a turn, then I make that turn. I do what I think is best for my business. But as of right now, that's not my goal, no. But I will share other classes with you guys because some people, that is their goal. Like Dave Rose and Taylor, she's been doing classes and they rock it and it's awesome. And that's another resource that I can send to you guys. Um, it's, it's special. What is, the, what is the craft conference? I went to a Midwest craft conference back in February, and it is for, like, the Midwest states, so, like, Ohio and Kentucky, and um, they talked about businesses and photos, product photography, and I got really overwhelmed because this was February, the beginning of the year, and I just transitioned, just started doing patterns, and my business felt brand new all over again because I wasn't selling my stuffies anymore which is what I started with, I was now selling patterns, and it felt brand new, like a brand new baby business, and then I was learning about press releases, and about had a little mini anxiety attack, it was awful, I had to leave a couple of the, like, speaking things, because I was getting really overwhelmed, and I was like, why am I even here, <laughs> but I did learn a lot, and I learned that I don't want to do that again, <laughs> because I'm, like, so awkward, and, um, I would definitely take a friend with me. If I ever do anything like that, Taylor will be going with me because I don't think that I had a really good time because I was by myself. The, the best time that I had was the night that we did the craft crawl. So it was like from different rooms, different people's rooms in the hotel, and everybody was drinking. I don't drink alcohol, but everybody was drinking, and everybody was like super friendly and loosey-goosey, and that's when I was like, I love these people. <laughs> like, they like me. We're, they're talking to me. We're getting along great. And then the next day when they weren't drinking anymore, it was like, and then they were like, oh, who is that? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm very awkward. And that's another thing that will go into the, the blog post about my emotional state from making the transition to being a stay-at-home mom. It's made me super awkward. Um, I used to be very social in February, almost a, almost a full year ago. Definitely something that I was not aware of about myself. I didn't know that I had gotten so weird until I got there. Um, hi, I love my earrings. These were like little mermaid scales and they're from an Etsy shop and I don't remember who it was. It was like two years ago we did a product swap. Like she wanted, she wanted a couple beanies and she sent me like three pair of earrings. I wear them all the time. I, I like, um, like not, not dangly earrings because I always get them caught in my hair. So I have, I have these and I'll, I will try to go through, like, Etsy combos from 2016 and find this for you guys because they're really cute, and I've never had any issues with them. I've gotten three pair from her, and they've never, like, fallen apart or anything. I love them. Hmm. Any more questions? You guys can start popping those on because I'm done. The Masterclass by D Dave Rose. Yep. What course? Are oh, thanks. Somebody answered that one for me. And, like, I will link it with my affiliate link. That's another thing too about the course. After you read it and find out how amazing it is, you have the option to become an affiliate just like me, just like Taylor. And then you can like tell your friends how awesome it was and how much it's changed your life and how you think it would change their life. And then if they purchase through your link, you get paid. So eventually the thing will pay for itself, like literally not just by changing your business because it will pay for itself by changing your business also. Um, cause you'll start, selling more and doing better because you are more centered, I guess, and you know, you, like, you have a path of, that you can clearly see, um, but also can pay you back if you refer people. It's like a refer program, and everybody, everybody can do that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many followers you have on Instagram. It doesn't matter how big your blog is. If you even have a blog, 
you can you can sign up to be an affiliate. It's for everybody, which is totally awesome of her to do. She's amazing. I can't say enough things about her. Anytime that I have a question, she is right there to answer it. She is so personable, so approachable, and just so kind at all times. Like, she's such a good influence for me specifically because I'm the type of person who, if I'm around negative juju and negative energy, that's what starts coming out of my mouth. And I hate that. I don't want to live that way. So I try to surround myself by positive people. I follow positive people on Instagram. If I see somebody posting things like complaining about things or stuff like that, I'm like, mm, I'm follow. Because then I'll start complaining about things. I'll think, oh, yeah, that happened to me too. That's awful. Let me talk about how awful that is. And I try not to think that way as best I can. And it's, sometimes it's a struggle because I feel like it's like human nature, I guess. Um, but Dave Rose is definitely a light in this community, and she does a really good job at keeping things positive. Yes, I have done the masterclass. I've read through it twice now, um, and I I bought it a couple months ago um, after I was already selling patterns. I don't remember exactly which month it was. Taylor might remember. Um, I could probably look it up. It's, it doesn't matter which part of, of your business like path that you're on, the beginning, halfway through, get ready to make a change this will help you in every and then it will help you again like down the road because nobody stays the same if you stay the same you're not going to grow so down the road if your business makes a huge change reread the class look at all the new things she's probably added at that point and start all over from a fresh awesome positive perspective it's it's amazing mm. someone's been asking me to wipe them for many years now yeah Gabe finally wiped her, by the way. If anybody was curious, Ava has been wiped, and she is clean. <laughs> and I apologize. Yeah, real life. If anybody missed it, Ava walked in here to come say hi, and then she started screaming, I'm done, for 20 minutes until Gabe finally <laughs> took care of it. <laughs> Lots of laughs for Ava screaming, I'm done, at the top of her lungs. Uh, Taylor pointed out that if you message her about something, she will likely add it to the master class talking about Teresa, and I touched on that earlier, like, especially if somebody keeps asking her, like, different people keep asking her the same things, she, she will do the best that she can to help you guys, she's very, very helpful, and her heart is completely in it, like, she's not like, oh, this is my job, I have to answer these people's questions, no, like, she is emotionally involved, okay, let me scroll down, positivity breeds creativity, I need that on a t-shirt, and a mug. I need the positive and happy people. It's important, y'all. It's important. I need that my daily life, not just my business life. Do you plan to do more kits? I do plan to do more kits. I Listen. Listen. I have a basket full of Bitty Boho Bib kits. I finally just took the listing out of my shop. I'm going to relist them eventually, probably after I give people a chance to recuperate from the five dollar fee for the beanie swap but I'm going to list these again in my shop and they will come with some surprise yarn because I'm going to go through my attic and I have like four totes of yarn that I do not use that is brand new all different brands and each each purchase will include a brand new skein of yarn or two depending on how big the skein is but yes I love doing kits especially like new things like turning one of my pillows into a mini version and sending a kit for that. I really enjoy that. And my kits are going to be coming with um, Clover Amore hooks from now on because those hooks have changed my life. Like my speed has, I've gotten so much faster just from using the Clover Amore hooks. Amore hooks, I love them. Um, or are you registered as a business? I know each state is different. What are the big must-dos? I don't see. Do you have an LLC? No, I do not. Um, I'm a sole proprietor, I think, and I have a tax guy, and he's the best tax guy on the planet. And if you're local and you have a business, message me, and I will give you his information, and it will change your life. But um, my mom has used this guy for 25 years. She's an entrepreneur as well, so um, I got to like use him too because of who my mom is, and he always. I mean, he, he always finds all of my, all of my um, write-offs. So if you don't have a tax guy, maybe look into getting one. Maybe just try it like once because it might be so worth your money to pay $200 to pay this guy, and then you end up making $700 back that you wouldn't have gotten on your own. 
Um, I do not have an LLC, and I do not have my business copyrighted or trademarked, but I'm going to in 2019. Not the LLC, the trademark and the, and the copyright. I'm going to do that. I want to start selling my knitted hats. Any advice on how to get started? Hmm. I would sell on Etsy if you want if you if you want to make that leap. I am an advocate for Etsy. I think Etsy is a wonderful platform. Very user friendly once you get the hang of it. Uh, lots of advice out there on how to set up your Etsy and do Etsy things. Um, and I do have a post on that. Eight reasons why you should be on Etsy. I think is what it's called. What else would I do at the beginning? I would make sure I get really good pictures. Uh, I personally try to have a picture of all the different colors that I offer instead of just saying, this is the beanie that I make and here's all the colors that I can make it in. People respond better if you have physical picture pictures of them on a human being, if it's something that a human being would wear. Um, I also, quick, just a little tidbit, make sure it's a pretty person. People buy things from pretty people. Let me show you. I have sold so many of this hat because this girl is a babe. This is Erica, and she lives in my town. And she took this phone, this picture on her phone as a selfie, like just a selfie, and sent it to me. Look at her. I have sold so many of these beanies because she is so gorgeous. I remember when I first posted it, I had people message me and be like, so if I buy this beanie, will I look like her? I'm like, yeah, it's a magic beanie. As soon as you put it on, you just transform and you look like Erica. <laughs> it's fun. Um, and I do have a few more blog posts already up that might help you if you're wanting to start your business. And then the post that I put up about being professional on a budget, that will be helpful too. And I will get that up, you know, soon, soonish. Product swapping, sure. Do you have questions? Oh, are you, I'm, I'm assuming you mean because of the earrings that we swapped. She messaged me on Etsy and was like, hey, I love your beanies. I make earring, earrings. Would you like to trade? And I was like, absolutely. I do this all the time. Um, Dixie Chicks Pegs. I think she changed her name. It was Dixie Chicks Pegs. We swap all the time. She has nearly all of my pillows, and Ava has probably 30 of her peg dolls, and I love them. I love handmade things, which I said at the beginning of the live. I'm always game for swapping products. And I've also swapped for like LuLaRoe leggings. And I'm like, I will trade you a beanie for a pair of LuLaRoe leggings. And they're, and they're like, how about five? And I'm like, you sister. I love swapping and sharing, especially handmade, but also LuLaRoe. I need to, I need to put that in my Etsy shop. We'll work for LuLaRoe. It's my leggings that I usually wear. They're just super comfortable for curvy ladies such as myself introverted with your crafty life. Yep. Mm, I And that's not something that about my sip and stitch. I was like, okay, I'm asking all of the local introverts to come out of their home and crochet and knit together. It, it works though. Like when you get us all together, it just works. We are all the same type of human. Um, but I get that. I'm feeling that pretty hard. Are you on Skillshare? Nope. I don't know what that is. Someone was having issues. Oh, no. I hope nobody else was having issues. Where do you get your poly mailers? I get my, a bunch of my ones that I've used for my kits are listed in my Amazon, Amazon, Amazon shop, which is in the link in my bio. And then I get some of my stuff from the shipping guru on Etsy. Whenever they have a sale, I would just snag some of them because um, I don't really care, like, what color they are or whatever. And then I get all my white ones from, I used to work at a college bookstore when I was in college, and the owner there lets me buy my poly mailers from him for the same price. And I get them, like, in a box of a 1000 I have two boxes now, so I should be set for a while. And they are heavy. Like, he put them in my car for me, and then I had to get Gabe to get the things out of there. They are heavy. What are the top things to do to have a legit business? Do you have a tax ID or an LLC? I don't have either of those things. Um... Maybe one day, like if my business takes a turn for that, for online sales, the tax is different than like in-person sales. So I would only have to pay sales tax for Kentucky sales because that's, it might be different for your state, yo, I don't know all the states, um, but for Kentucky, where I live, I only have to charge sales tax to Kentucky, geez, to Kentucky customers, um, which is not a huge most of my customers are out of Kentucky because it's mostly all through Etsy. Um, the craft shows that I do, 
I need to pay tax on those, and I keep that for my tax guy, and I will show him, okay, this is how much I made at the craft show, this is how much cash, this is how much cards that we took in, and then if, if I need to end up paying, he will tell me what to pay, and I will do it through him. He's amazing. I totally recommend getting a tax guy. Change your world. My aunt, every time I do a live, my aunt's like, who's your favorite aunt? That's her question. Every single time. She knows she's my favorite aunt. Where did you decide, when did you decide on the master class? I decided on the master class because Taylor got the master class and she told me how awesome it was. And it was a couple months ago, like maybe six. I don't remember exactly, but I wish I had done it way sooner because it's definitely good for starting out. Like, couldn't... You couldn't start out better than with this class. It will help you get exactly on the right path that you need to be on. I can't wait to read the blog post. You're totally speaking to me. Okay. Introverts unite. <laughs> did you already talk about the beanie swap? I did talk about the beanie swap. It was at the beginning. It will be on the replay. Um, but if you have any specific questions, I will be happy to answer those. I need that magic beanie. Yeah. I keep making them, and they just still, I still look like me when I put them on. <laughs> hmm. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I'm in Pennsylvania. I need to find a tax guy. You need to find a tax guy. Baby shower gift for maker mama that's expecting. I'm assuming she means the Bitty Boho Bib Kit. Yes, it would. Or somebody who just wants to learn how to crochet. How about being? Yes. I think Taylor has talked to me about it before, too. I think a Claire Bun Beanie Kit would do really well. And that's something that I, I would like to add, like, staple pieces to my shop where at the, they're there all the time. And I don't just have, like, 50, and then when they're gone, they're gone. And I think uh, Claire Bun Beanie Kicks will be something that I add eventually that will be in my shop all the time if they do well. I thought that about the Bitty Boho Bib Kits, and I sold, like, maybe 10 of them. So I don't know. If they don't do well, they're not going to be in my shop. Mm -hmm. I really want to do this, but I'm super nervous about taking the leap to purchase this to hope it works for me. I totally get that, and I've been in the same boat with other things. And I've just, like, for one, it's worth it. It is a very, very good course that's specifically for crocheters and knitters, which is unheard of. Like, that is amazing in itself, the fact that it's worded and the examples are all based on crochet and knit type things like that's invaluable because you don't have to try to think and do guesswork it, there's no guesswork it is completely in black and white for you to read um also if you do if you do like it and you do the affiliate program you can get your money back that way if people use your links which i'm hoping y'all use my links um and my coupon code crafty25 and i will post that again um and then also, if you implement these things on your businesses, your businesses will start to do better, um, and then you'll make more money, and then eventually it will pay for itself that way. I know it's scary to take leaps like that, especially we don't, like if someone told me to invest in my husband, I'd be like, yeah, how much you need? Because I just, I love him, and I know how great he is. But you got to think about yourself in those, in those terms. You're awesome. You're great. You're going to do a great job with your business, and this is going to give you a huge advantage and foot in the door that you wouldn't normally have. Okay, I think we're all caught up, and the thing's about to run out of time, but I've recorded it on my computer, I hope, and I've recorded it. I'm going to make it available here for 24 hours. Please message me if you have questions. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for joining me, for tuning in. Um, I will post the link to the master class and my coupon code. And if you need any other links, just message me and I will send them to you. I hope you guys have an amazing night and I'll talk to you later. How do I end? Oh, end. Okay, bye.